Good morning. Welcome to Prairie Quilt. And we just got in the brand new Foff Creative Sensation Pro 2. And I am so excited to open this up. Let's see what's inside. Got a clip control. Lots of styrofoam and plastic. And our machine. Let's get it unpackaged here. Let's put all the styrofoam back in the box. Now we have this piece of styrofoam here that, that supports the machine for shipping. We'll just get rid of that. The needle is holding these feet in place. We'll loosen those up. And a little inspector card there. Now when we look at the machine, it's got a plastic cover on it. We'll want to get rid of that. Because we don't need that. And we'll just discard these so it looks better. And functions right on the touch screen. So we got two feet in this little package. And another foot on the machine. So if you look, <coughs> there's nothing in here. So the feet must be in somewhere else. There is a buttonhole foot here in the very back and that's the only other foot that's in the machine so there's four feet in the machine. So we'll go over to this piece right here and look and see what we have. Oh there we go. We got a goodie bag. It's loaded with goodies. We got a power cord. We got a USB cable. We've got a warranty card. We've got our book of embroideries that shows all the embroideries that come on this machine and it comes with hundreds of embroideries built right in. And then we have our owner's manual, Creative Sensation Pro 2. And this is in a spiral bound so it's made to be used a lot and opened and it'll sit flat for you as well as everything is in color. It reads much like a tutorial, so it's not like a technical book with just descriptions and names of pieces. It's actually an explanation written by education people, not by the technical builders of the machine. So we'll reference that when we need it. <clears throat> and then we have our knee lift, which I don't use this, but it plugs in the front of the machine and will lift our presser foot for us and put it down at different heights. Uh, but I don't use it because the machine has an automatic one and it always knows for me what I want. So I'm just going to set that aside. And then we have in here our trusty USB stick. And the trusty USB stick is a wonderful way to transfer designs from the computer to the machine for embroidery. So this is so much better than having to do it the old fashioned way, writing cards or using a proprietary system of cards and reader writers. I'm going to put the lanyard on it because that way it's harder to lose and it's easier to hang on to. If I have the lanyard I can keep my USB stick handy when I need it. Okay we got all the packaging gotten rid of there now we'll just keep opening things up here. We just got so many goodies here. So I got my emergency gotta sew now tool to get in here. There we go I'm in. Okay, what do we got? Let's start off here. We got some cut work needles. This is a really cool tool we'll talk about later. Here's a multi pack of needles. It has one of a lot of different styles of needles. It's just a nice one to have as an emergency backup. It's good to have packages of each of those on hand, but if you run out, then you got your backup source. You got my favorite sewing machine right here in the world. I seem to use this more than I do anyone else. We got a stylus. We can use our finger. We can use this stylus or we can use this stylus to touch the screen. That one works better for me, the hard one. We got a screwdriver we use to put our needles in with. We'll put everything away as we do this. We have thread nets, which you put on thread that's acting wild. But for me, these cause as much problems as they solve, so I don't really care for those. Uh, we have uh, on the machine 
There's nothing up here but our thread caps are right here. And we have two extra large thread caps. We have a medium thread cap and a small thread cap. So I always put an extra large on the machine with the points going down. And then the felt pad on the machine. And then I'll put my thread on. And then I'll put a small one on if it's a small spool or medium, if it's a medium spool or large, whoops, if it's a large spool, and I'll put the points going into the spool like that, not away from it. That way thread can never get caught behind it. So I'll go ahead and put these up. But before I get uh, all that put away here, I've got to get one more thing and put it away because if I don't put this in first, there won't be room for it later. This is the straight stitch plate. It's a brand new plate. This is one of the improvements of the Foff Creative Sensation Pro 2. And it's got a little bit larger hole in it, so you can adjust how scant your quarter inch is or how fat it is. And not only that, but you'll notice a new item on the bottom we've never seen on a Foff before. There's a little pyramid almost shaped triangle piece on the bottom where the needle comes through. And Falf is solving the problem that all sewing machines struggle with, and that is straight stitch, making the perfect straight stitch. And they are always in pursuit of perfection, and this is what they've come to. Their needle plates are easy to put on. They just snap on, and we'll uh, show how to do that later. But I'll put it up. And then we got all of our feet, and the feet all have little garages that we can just drop the feet into. And we're just going to put them where they will fit. We got our embroidery foot. We've got a zipper foot. We've got the floating free motion embroidery foot. We've got a quarter inch piecing foot. We have a decorative foot that will also use IDT, and I'll tell you about IDT. We have a buttonhole foot that's a manual foot. And then we have a, a guide foot, which we can use for blind hemming, top stitching. It's got a little red piece on top you can see there to help guide the edge of your fabric when you're doing those kinds of jobs. We've got a seam guide <coughs> that screws into the ankle so you can sew parallel seams. A couple of felt pads. We put one on there. We have an extra. We'll just put it away for now. And then put our seam ripper up. It comes with a microfiber cloth because your foth has a touch screen and a beautiful front. You'll want to keep it nice with either this or another high quality cloth. Um, this is a interesting tool. With our FOF IDT, we really don't need to use this to sew over heavy seams like other brands do, but we do use it to insert the needle with that little hole right there. And it's also good for sewing a shank on a, on a button. When you sew a button on it, you want it to be, have a longer shank to go through something thick like a coat, like a heavy coat. Um, that's what you use that for. You have a lint brush. And this lint brush doesn't look like much. People look at that and they go, really? That's what I get? But the truth is, this is a great little secret weapon. These little tightly uh, patterned bristles will harpoon lint and pull it out of the deepest spots where you might try to brush something with like a paintbrush. You'll just kind of move it around down in there. But when you're cleaning your machine with your bobbin case out, you can harpoon the lint with that tightly packed bristle and you can it'll grab it and it'll pull it out, which is handy. So it's hard to get all these things that come with it in here because there's so much stuff. You don't have to store it all in the machine, but we try to. So we're going to put these bobbins up. It comes with 10 bobbins. That's a nice amount, but you can always buy extras. So you've always got a clean, empty bobbin when you're ready to fill or if you want to wind a bunch of embroidery up front. So I'm going to keep one out because we're going to wind a bobbin first. Put this accessory tray in there with all the garages. Oh, and I almost forgot the two feet I took off first. Let me open that up. These feet are decorative stitch feet. It's the number two and the number eight foot. And that's just a handy numbering system Foff uses, we'll talk about. But the eight foot is for sewing sideways, and the number two foot is for sewing decorative stitches. And we'll talk about that. So I'll put that up. And now we'll move on to using our machine because that's why we bought it.